Today we ask the age old question. Will it gummy? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Ever since we had that gummy cheeseburger back on Willie Cheeseburger, uh -huh. gummies have been stuck in my brain like, um, what's something sticky? Gummies. Yes, like gummies. Now, have you ever seen these bags of gummy bears and gummy worms sold in the same package? I had well, Let not. me just take a moment to say, I am totally against this. We gotta preserve some sort of consistency in the sense of scale of the gummy universe. Are these giant worms or are they tiny bears? I don't want to think about that. You don't want to think about that. Don't do this anymore, Brocks. Okay, don't even think about it. But I won't say that I'm against all forms of gummy in experimentation. In experimentation. fact, it's time for Will It Gummy? Today, we are gummifying everything, and that means that each dish will be a candy gelatin recreation of a particular food, including all of that food's components. And here's the craziest part. Each gummy part will taste like the ingredient that it is mimicking, yes! I don't know what kind of Willy Wonka witchcraft the Mythical Kitchen got into to pull this one off and what sort of demons they consulted, but you know what? We let them do what they want to over there. Mm -hmm. And we I like do it. like it. I like <laughs> it, yeah. First up, we have Bagel bites, and from the way that they hang out in microwaves and burn innocent mouths, you know that they think that they're hot stuff. <laughs> but when gummy is the bagel, can you have pizza anytime? These are Jiggle Bites. Bagel Bites made of gelatin. And that is instantly impressive. I Josh, mean, if you squint, you just think you got a, a, a slightly larger than life Bagel Bite. Here. What did the demons do? Uh, the demons didn't do a ton. Also, unlike Willy Wonka, we have murdered zero children in the Mythical Kitchen so far. Well, I'd like to yeah, clarify I mean, that. Hey, listen. Uh, <laughs> we uh, blended bagels with water, and then we turned that into a gummy. We rendered out the pepperoni fat. We turned that into a gummy. We uh, made a mozzarella broth and gummified that, and then ditto with pizza sauce and tomato paste, oregano. We turned that into a gummy. Well, you just keep saying wow. gummify yeah. and turn it into a gummy, but I don't. I still don't understand what's happening there. It smells it, like pizza. Is that like befriending a horse and then scraping off its hoof stuff and then mixing it? It's better not to befriend the horse if you're gonna scrape off its hoof and turn it jelly. No. Uh, so <laughs> the process of gummification, uh, you heat corn syrup and sugar up to a certain temperature, and then you add that to gelatin and uh, other sweeteners like sorbitol to give it structure. But we've infused everything with the actual flavors of the ingredients in there. And gelatin does have horse hoof, right? You know, I, pe I don't. People you know hoofs. Don't answer that. There's Let's some not, sort of hoof. Specifically, it's too early. early. It's too early. It's too early. Yeah. Dink it and little sink Sebastian it. hoof. And you get a nice clean bite there. It smells just like a bagel bite. There is no crunch. I still don't get their slogan. If pizza's a bagel, can you have pizza anytime? Because you can have bagel. What do you mean? You bagels have bagels Bagels can be had at breakfast. any time. Bagels to have a breakfast. You put pizza on the bagels, you're bringing the bagel part of breakfast into the breakfast. So they're saying, on it. bagel bites are saying that bagel bites are breakfast foods. They can be. That's not true. They can be any time. I don't believe that they're breakfast foods. I'd rather eat leftover pizza for breakfast than a bagel bite for breakfast, but I like a bagel bite. But not for breakfast. You just convoluted your argument by saying you would eat leftover pizza for Let's breakfast. Let's get back on task here. Which I agree here. with. This, I don't know, what do you think about the savoriness? I mean, is it doing things for your mouth? It's not bad. I mean, I'm not throwing for a loop. It just kind of feels like I'm I'm chewing a sports mouth guard. I don't know. <laughs> Have you done that? I like it. I think that I could eat this any time of day, even breakfast. Can you like you pull like it? it? Like, can you, I want to see the, yeah. Like, no, it, you cannot pull it. It's just like a sports mouth guard. It looks like something that would well, be on display to make you buy a real bagel bite at a storefront. It's a, I mean, it doesn't really stretch that much if it that's can't what be you're destroyed. interested in. It cannot be destroyed. It does not fall apart. From this angle, it kind of looks like those little cutlets. Uh, <laughs> is this going to will or not, though? We kind of need to get on with it. You can't see my nipple anymore. <laughs> huh? I'm going to, to right, I'm I, going to the ball and you can't see my nipples. I'll just make the decision. <laughs> bagel bites. Will it gummy? Yes. yes. Do you ever find yourself disappointed by your morning cereal because it's too dang easy to eat? Do you want your breakfast to present more of a challenge? Do you live by the words, tougher breakfast, tougher morning, tougher me? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then Gummy Fruit Loops is the cereal for you. We're calling it Fruit Goops. Oh, here it is right here. 
I didn't even know it was lurking. Look at that, it let me, that looks like something out of something like, you see it Ikea on the breakfast table, you know? And then you go up to it and you're like, it's not real. Honestly, I didn't expect um, for the milk to be completely gummified, but I, I'm, I applaud you for doing that. Yeah, we gummed it up real good for you. Do you have to make these individually? Yes, uh huh. That's correct. Yeah, so they're and, only on top. And uh huh. Yeah, yeah I mean, gonna listen, a while. You got other things you got. You just can't do this for. There's a lot days. going on here. Oh my! It's like you. It's like your car. I'm mining. It's like your breakfast. Tough for you, Rick. Come on now. <sighs> I got it. Carving a canoe with a. Spoon. It wasn't easy, but I got it. I'm just gonna eat this. So how'd you get you you g gelatinified oh, milk? Yeah, yeah, we added that to the corn syrup, the sorbitol, and the gelatin. It turns out you can gummify pretty much anything if you have the will to do it. The taste is intact. Tastes just like Fruit Loops. Yeah. I mean, you're the cereal guy. I mean, you definitely need a knife. I got one. I mean, I'm so close though. Okay, there it is. I didn't, I'm getting a couple. How did the milk taste to you? I mean. Uh, it tasted okay. So chewy. <clears throat> Good gosh, do not break that bowl. I feel like <clears throat> something's about to break. I don't know, is it? Well, I was trying to make a chicken cutlet with, it the, the spoon? with the milk, but I guess I'm just gonna have to do that. I'm going to the prom and you'll never see my nipples. <laughs> oh yeah, it's kind of hard. <laughs> Surely brought it for the prom, I mean. <laughs> I like a flat boob. You know what I'm saying? I like a boob that is big and then flat right at the end. That's uh, thanks, for thanks for clarifying. That's, Jinx. <laughs> that's my favorite Jinx. kind. Uh, can, I, can I have that back out so I can like do my job? Have what? The bowl of goop loops. If you'll want it, you'll have to take it. No, I'll give it to you. Yeah, I don't want to have to it, fill you now, down. Let me just say, it didn't come in contact with any of me. I think we should be evaluating this as if it's we're still a cereal, right? So yeah, that's why I'm saying this up to you, man. There's no signature crunch. It is an arm workout. I mean, look, I've been a spoon. It's dangerous. You're like eating his gummy nip milk. I've got a job to do. <laughs> and it seems that only I can do it. I don't think it works. It doesn't work. I wish it worked. I mean, the crunch means so much, and the fact that you can injure yourself and you have to chew so much. Good yeah. gosh. So, Fruit Loops. Will it gummy? No. no. We want to congratulate Mythical Chef Josh and the Mythical Kitchen team on the release of their very own potato chip flavor. What? You said very own very potato, own potato, chip, potato chip, flavor. chip flavor. I said potato chip. Potato we're from North chip. North Carolina. In partnership with our friends at Mischief. Now, weaving some really crazy stuff on this show. Uh, pretty much every testicle on the planet, every insect, even insects with testicles. Right, but there's one line that we have not crossed, and that is the legal line. Because that's a pretty firm line. Um, well, put on your dancing shoes, because we're about to cross it. <laughs> All right! Introducing illegal chips. Yes, there's horse flavor. Yep, there it Kazu is. Marzu flavor, which yep. is AKA maggot cheese, and fugu, AKA blowfish. Now, eating all of these things is actually illegal, but now you can find out what they taste like without actually going to prison, because they just taste like those things. Josh, come out here and tell us about your flavor. The fugu poison. Yeah. Blowfish. I'm gonna move these yeah. over here. You're on the bag, man. Let me, let me I am, yeah. Shout slide. out to Zach for taking that photo slide like two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. So yeah. I'll just, t tell us about it. Yeah, What's so the deal? We, we really wanted to create a flavor of chips that nobody's ever had before. I've never seen anything like this. And then what's more, we were like, what if it was a flavor that could actually kill you? Yeah. And then that enticed me. Awesome. And uh, here we are. <laughs> okay. Ugu. Poison blowfish uh -huh. can kill you because of the poison part. Yeah, so it's a natural defense mechanism called tetrodetoxin um, that causes cardiac arrest, paralysis, and eventually death. So we're going Great. to die when we eat them. No, I mean, you know, we're all gonna die one day, but you probably <laughs> won't when you eat them. But that said, when you eat them, your mouth does start tingling from the toxin. So it has a similar the potato sensation. Chip? Yeah, it will give, uh-huh. We worked with scientists to make we're, this we're all somehow. happen, and I'm super proud of this. Yeah, you, bo you boys ready to ride the lightning? You went from uh, working with us to working with, with scientists for a change. <laughs> There's a little fishiness, maybe? Yeah, definitely. No, no, I mean, this has the actual flavor. We not only yeah. worked with scientists, but also a fugu importer um, to create this chip fugu. and make sure So you can it. really experience mm -hmm. what it's like to do something illegal with yeah. your tongue. Dink it. It's like playing Grand Theft Auto, but for food. Fancy. Oh, you got a semi folded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, first of all, 
It tastes good. There, yeah, that was another thing. We want to make sure it doesn't suck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can, oh, and there's a little. I can easily a, want to keep a, eating. There's them. a tingle. Yeah. Uh huh. Comes in the back of the palate, especially and if I you want just start. More. I know it's addicting, right? If you just really load up, you get a big tingle. Uh huh. I'm a guy who likes a big tingle. This is pretty cool, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm, so, I'm anxious to try horse next, uh, if, but I'll save that for later. We'll do those <laughs> horse it's a dessert meat chip and <laughs> maggot <laughs> cheese. <laughs> but if you want to be one of the few people who get to taste these limited time illegal chips, go to illegalchips.com, grab a pack before they sell out because they will, and um, you, wanna, you wanna get in on that action. And check out the Mythical Kitchen channel tomorrow to see Josh's, Josh's real life journey to taste the deadly blowfish. Thank you, Josh, oh, and congratulations. Man. Congratulations to the whole Mythical Kitchen I'll, I'll lure team. you this yeah, way Shovel them off to the, to the edge of the, of the, of the table. Very cool. Very illegal, very chippy. Okay, Rhett, try this. Oh. Oscar Mayer Wiener gummy. Not made by the Mythical Kitchen. Made by Oscar Mayer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does it taste like a hot dog? No, it tastes fruity. Would it be better if it did? Well, I would like to find out. Good idea. Next we have Wiener Jelly. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that. I mean, yeah, this it's is a lot a bigger. A completely jellified uh, and gummified hot it's, dog. It's, it's life size. Josh, what did you do? Uh, no wieners were harmed in making this wiener jelly, but mm. we did blend up a couple hot dogs and then uh, mix that with all the sugary the horse hoof mixture, Man, and then mustard. ditto with all your favorite condiments. You got your mustard, your ketchup, your it relish. It smells like a hot dog. Yeah, unsettlingly. We concentrated a lot of hot dog water. This is an amazing visual presentation. I got to give it to, the, to, to you and the team because it looks like something that would be in like Legoland. I don't know, it looks like a Lego hot dog to me. I don't, I don't well, know. I want you to give it to me. Well, there's only one. Is it, this is what we're gonna do. I'm trying to go hands-free. I wanna get the wiener. <laughs> you, took, you took it away and you took all the, <laughs> I mean, you took. Oh, it came out the you top. You squeezed it. And I got a little cramp in Here, my. let's do this. Uh, let's stuff it down in uh, there. Don't, why are you touching it everywhere? Really? Okay, now grasp it. I'm coming from the top here. You're, you're taking it to yourself. Like, keep it in the middle. Okay, all right. It's not gonna work, man. Uh, well, if I had done it, this is how I would have done it. I would have held it there, and I would have come in, and I would have invited you to grab the other side of the wiener. That made a squeaky noise. The taste of the hot dog is very strong with this one. The consistency of a gummy wiener and the consistency of a wiener, pretty close. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just a bunch of port paste and stuff that's shot into a tube. But then when you cook it, it kind of changes. So it kind of feels like it's raw. I do I'm, not like it as much as a regular hot dog. I do not like it as much either. I am I feel like we're rather a, unappetized I feel right like now. we're in an uncanny hot dog valley. Great to look at, hard to swallow. Hot dog, will it gummy? No. Imagine you threw the coolest party your friends have ever attended. You had the ice creamiest of cakes and the bounciest of castles, mm -hmm. but you really whiffed on the appetizers. Everybody hated your jelly bean casserole and the party imploded. Hindsight is 20, 20 and you know what you should have served? Gummy deviled eggs. Yeah, baby. Breathe life into every get together with deviled dregs. Okay, so they are, they're, they're gummy, and they are I have to, scary. I don't want to pass up this opportunity to remind you that uh, these could also work as nipple covers. That's all I'm gonna do. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna draw any more attention to it. I'm not gonna make a joke about, I'm going to the party and you can't see my nipples. I would never do that. <sighs> I'm not gonna put it in contact with my don't. skin. I'm not gonna what? stick it in there it's and yours. touch it on myself. And then bring it out. Touch it on back myself. Up. It really has the scent. Whoa, it has an egg. egg scent. What did you do? Uh, I'd like to say that since this is going poorly from a Willet gummy angle, I think we should <laughs> I think we should switch to Willet nipple cover. <laughs> we've been yes, very successful. Will. Yeah. Uh, Queen we actually sweet. took powdered egg whites and powdered egg yolk and added that to the gummy mixture to create this, uh, along with just some good old-fashioned mayonnaise. A little bit of paprika on top. It, at first blush, this could almost pass as a deviled egg that somebody had done something different in the yolk part. Yeah, the yolk is, is scary looking. I, I can, love a deviled egg though. I can tell that it was like squirted in there and kind of a... Yeah, an aggressive squirt. Looks like a pile of egg poop. 
Do you want to eat it? Sure. I do. Yeah. Oh. That, this taste is freaking spot on, and the egg is, is could be an egg because it's the same consistency as a freaking yeah. egg. The only thing that's different, you can't break it apart. It's it's very resilient. You have nailed. I'm trying to get trying to flavor, get used to that. You have flavored nailed the flavor profile in a way that I didn't think was possible. You're so you're so happy. You know what? I think you're too happy. Look at this. It's gummies, bears. Get it out of my face. Worms. Turn on, in the same bag. I've been thinking about getting getting a, a punching bag because I've seen a lot of people on that's tick, right TikTok. See, and now get now, get it closer. Now, get it closer. Now try this. Try this. Okay, so now, oh. is this high protein? Yeah, I'm sure, it, why not? Does that give you more of a balanced perspective? Because I think- I still love it. The white is great, the yolk is, takes Even a little more getting used to. Even after taking my aggression, I think this is, you've done something that you would receive an award if that was the kind of thing that we did on this show, but we don't. I think what you should do is make a bunch of normal deviled eggs and put one of these in there and then film it for the TikTok. Deviled eggs, will they gummy? Yes! If there was a gumdrop farm's tile in Candyland, okay. where you got covered in syrup from the tongues of overzealous gummy cows and then couldn't move for three turns, I would hate that tile. Yeah. That said, we gummified a beef tongue. <laughs> We're calling this one, over the lips, through the gummies, look out stomach, here it cummies. Oh gosh. AKA, really? Gummy lingua. Yeah, let's call it gummy lingua. Good gosh. So this what? is just a tongue? We boiled down a beef tongue uh, just for hours and hours and then reduced the liquid, blended the beef tongue, strained that, added it to the gummy mixture, and then sort of carved it back into a tongue. And Sorry. It kind of... Yeah, thank, thank you for pre-apologizing. That's, that's okay. We haven't even tried it yet. It looks like a sheep. <laughs> yeah, it's got... <laughs> looks like... Like a it's European, got a heel. A European loafer. <laughs> like a mold for making like a European driving shoe. Um, it looks like a, like a Rumpelstiltskin shoe. Uh, is this like just a pad to like bring up the back? What is that? Yeah, you can take the heel right off of the shoe. Oh, See, really? <laughs> you can just do that. A little, little cobbler what, work. Hey, that's actually convenient because you know how you've been recently upgrading your tongue, your, your tongue kissing practice game like you did with the toy? Sure. Just <laughs> making up for lost time, middle school time? Am I supposed to look? Don't this look way? at me. I don't know. Oh, I'm not. I'm just. I'm looking inside of myself look down. to see it's if weird. I'm ready for this. No, oh, there it is. Oh, really? In your mouth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna have to take the initiative here. <laughs> <laughs> After the hot dog makeout sesh didn't work, this is what mm. you're going for. We are gonna I, get a teen flag now. I now know why you close your eyes when making out. <laughs> We're gonna get a because it might be that a teen flag. Is YouTube, that what they call yeah, it? YouTube doesn't even know what to do with us at this point. They just like write things in the notes, like shoved a gummy beef tongue into his friend's mouth repeatedly. Uh, yeah, we we can yeah we can cut around that. No, we can. Just a little bit of a jump. Cut. We should just export that. Uh, so how did it taste when it was, because you know, I wasn't thinking about the taste of the tongue when I was shoving it into your mouth. There's still a sweetness. I love how. I love a lingua. It tastes like roast beef and it's even more tender and I can taste that in the uh, in the tongue. Can you tell that they put taste buds on top? Oh, which yeah. is amazing. I could feel, I, well I tasted your mouth. Your mouth taste really came through that long <laughs> European shoe. Let me get a real bite here. It's kind of like gummy gravy. Boy, you nailed the flavor again. Dang. <coughs> it's not that bad. I mean, I like yeah. just a regular tongue better, both while kissing and also uh, when, when I'm had, like, having yeah. like a lingua taco. I would. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for the real thing. Yeah. I don't know if this is an improvement. But I mean, can you answer the question, will it nipple cover? Thank you, Josh. <laughs> I'm really Make him follow have, through on that crap. I really have to, because this, Beef tongue, will it nipple cover? Yes! Yeah? Beef tongue, will it gummy? No! no come on, not who are we kidding? Oh, but you know what? We had a great time. Didn't we? I hate to- Whoa! Busted! Bust, busted! Busted! Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey, Rhett and Link, we are in Brooklyn.
in New York and we just did a honey taste test and it's time to spin the, the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> honey makes you happy. I like that energy. Click the top link to see us determine which gummy bear brand is the king of the gummy forest in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Do you wanna enjoy the electrifying, illegal flavor of the world's deadliest fish? Yeah, well, now you can. Stick it to the man and order yours today at illegalchips.com.